here's Mike D'Antoni. Vincey Van and uh, and we were we were okay until the last quarter. We just we just awful at the end. And uh, you know, again, they had a, more of a desperation than we had. You know, when you're up 3-0, it's not right. I mean, you should play every game the way you should play it. But you know, they're human. We're human. And uh, I, I thought that we didn't come out focused, and then we did get focused, and then we lost it again. And at the end, maybe a little tiredness, maybe a little this, a little that, and they just beat us. Um, Coach, is Clint okay? He didn't look um, his normal self tonight. Yeah, he's uh, he's, you know, he's been battling the virus that um, you know that affected him. Obviously, he just not, doesn't have the force that he normally would have. Any other questions? Thank you. Mike D'Antoni's Rockets outscored 31 to 12 in the fourth quarter by Utah as the Jazz stay alive and we welcome you to Inside the NBA presented by Kia Ernie Johnson here at Studio J we got Shaq we got Kenny we got Charles and we got ourselves a 3 1 series as uh, the Houston Rockets only 4 0 sweep remains Kenny Smith's win over Shaquille O'Neal's magic in the final that's the Rockets only sweep yeah yep. yeah. You got swept. Can't but you know, you know, know you know. that was in a best of five. Doesn't matter. Sweep is a sweep. No, it's not. Yes, it does. The brooms came out, didn't they? Mark Jackson and, and Joe Oakley, they the brought the was brooms dirty. on the court. Can you know what's funny about games like this? Utah, they, they played inspiring basketball. So let, let's just say they go to Houston and, and win. Now, you know, people start to change the conversation. But th- this is what I was saying, Jack, about earlier. I was Listen. like, oh, the, guy, the guys I played with in my career, we always had a delusion of grandeur. I know that you guys have delusion of grandeur as great players. There's no doubt about it that you never thought that you could not win. But when you told me that there are other guys on your team that thought that way and you no, knew we were it, like... I was surprised to hear that because I'm glad I played with guys like the Utah Jazz yeah, but I'm not that would blame... never thought that they could not win a series or not win a game in a sweep. I'm not going to blame on, on, on the guys. I was part of that too. When you're down 0-3 to a superb team like Utah, there is no coming back. When you're down 0-3 versus the Rockets and Fountain, there is no coming back. Right? So we just said, look, look, we... I, I, I still just... just can't believe that you even think that. Because like, we, we, we would what... say, hey, listen, we up 3-0, but if listen. Shaq starts rolling... And all of a sudden, Nick Anderson starts hitting that jumper again. We might be in trouble. Well, when we look at they don't. Bye bye. As we look at what happened tonight, we begin with what happened at the end of Game Three. I mean, Utah came into this game saying, "Boy, if this Donovan Mitchell shot goes down, we tie the game there late. Already down two games to none. It did not. They lost by three, 104. He didn't think he was going to be that open either. And you come to Game Four, and how would Utah respond against James Harden? And the Rockets, well, he came out full of fire, yeah, this especially you know, Jay Crowder. Yeah, Jay Crowder, play, uh, I'm glad Donovan Michigan had some love. And Ricky Rubio played great also. He played really great. Yes, but Jay Crowder was fantastic today. Oh, La Pistola. La Pistola. 13 to 1 run for the Jazz. They enjoyed their biggest lead of the series so far. Man, just do it here. Harden for three and then. Oh, oh my God. That's a push push off, he pushed him yeah. off. What was that? Yeah, pushed him off and no, and no call. No call. But he's still the best offensive player possibly in the game. Other than and Kevin. Look at Crowder here with the good defensive oh, play. That's and a then charge. And one. Pull back. Why is that not a charge? Not a charge. We missed the free throw. Run him over. Man, this mm. is Harden, is he going to is he going to float it? Is he going to lob it? He lobbed it. I have it no idea. Develop. Put Rudy Gobert in a really awful, awful situation. Utah 53-47 at the half. And then the Rockets start catching fire from three for a while. Oh, wow. Bop. The Rockets had a lead, and they missed like five shots in a row. Where they could have made it six or eight. Well, they could have took higher percentage shots. Oh no, they don't. They gonna oh. live and die. You know they. Oh man, look at this shot. Harden. Oh, man, that's ridiculous. So they were 17 for 33 through three quarters from deep, but they missed. He saw so hard to go. All of their three pointers in the fourth quarter missed <laughs> all 13. Uh. Ooh, oh, give me bitch. some. Ooh. Man, give me. They some. missed 14 straight threes. That's that's hard to believe. Mitchell yeah. again. Mitchell uh, had 12 leave points. It, leave it through three quarters. Finished with 31. Yeah, because he's that type of player. Ah, like he, he's a big moment player. He's proven that last year. You know, they started out like you said. They could. This series could be 2-2. Just, but this is up. this is ah. how we expected him to perform at this level for, throughout the series. 
A 31-12 fourth quarter in a 3-1 series as Utah takes it 107-91. Mitchell with those 31 points 